How are you doing, guys? What's up, Zach? Thanks, Zach. Uh, just, could you describe your comfortability with the offense at this point? Yeah, I would say um, comfortable with like a lot of the concepts, right? I think a lot of teams run you know, similar concepts all about how you call them. But uh, the operation still learning every single day. You know, exactly where guys are lining up, who I'm micing, who I'm moving, you know, getting to the other play. I think that can always just keep practicing and, and getting more comfortable with it. But, you know, I think I think good enough to be able to function without any issues out there. But, of course, you want to just have it have it down like the back of your hand. How much, how much of a whirlwind was it when you just got here in the spring and you're all of a sudden on the field? And then how much more comfortable are you now? You've had time to learn the playbook more, what have you? Yeah, definitely more comfortable. I'd say the coaches do a great job, though, of the installs. I think starting with install one, you know, in OTAs for a couple days, and then and then two, and then three, and then going all the way back to the beginning again. Same thing in training camp, you know, kind of helps you get acclimated to it pretty quickly. What do you have to adapt to when you're kind of going from one, two, and three different offensive line every day? And does that actually help you? Yeah, you really don't pay attention to it. You know, sometimes in there with the three and I'm throwing routes to court. You know, it's like the receivers are kind of going with whoever also and we're going with whoever and, you know, we're a team and you got to be able to play with whoever's in there and that's just part of it. So go from where you were starting a lot with the Jets to back into a competition, do you have to recalibrate in a way or how do you kind of approach that where it's a, obviously all three of you have a shot? Yeah, just doing my absolute best every single day. I mean, I, I love playing football, just the joy of coming out here. Throwing the ball around and doing my absolute best is all I can ask for. Do you feel a bit more free being in this situation than you were with the Jets then? Yeah, I would say so. Just maybe a different perspective than anything of just, you know, the the ups and downs of my first three years, just having a perspective, just loving ball, just coming out here and throwing it around and having a good time and doing the best I can. Is that hard to do? I mean, last year, you, know, you get a Hall of Famer before time and you show up. Is it hard to love it the same way versus being in a, a true gun position right here? Well, I think last year was tough because obviously, you know, you, you, you think you're going to sit and learn and, you know, of course you're going to be ready and, and then you get put right back out there and you got to do the best you can. But, you know, you try and always kind of have that same approach. But I think, you know, I got to take a step back and, and take a little bit of a breath, um, you know, but, you know, attacking the competition as well. Was it, hard to, was it hard to love football going through what you went through and, and kind of feel that spirit again out here? You know, I've always loved ball. I've always loved you know, looking forward to practice and when you make that throw and trying to correct your mistakes. But, if, you know, of course, the environment wasn't all that fun because you're not playing well and, and we're not winning games and that's not fun. But, you know, I love ball. I just I can't wait to approach the next day and try and do my best. Yeah. How does your starting experience help you in this competition? Yeah, hopefully just like I said, a lot of the plays are similar, right? Or a lot of concepts you're essentially trying to accomplish the same thing where it's high-low on someone or outflanking someone to the flat. And, you know, hopefully I just – kind of have those memories of remembering similar plays that I've had in the past where certain things have come up or situations and stuff and um, protection adjustments, different things like that where I'm able to say, you know what, I remember my three years when this happened and this is how I'm going to combat that. You have uh, kind of a nonchalant throwing style sometimes, you know, like the one to Torrey Franklin mm -hmm. in the end zone, you just kind of, did you pick that up uh, since you've been in the NFL or tell me how that evolved? Yeah, I don't know. I think just... As you uh, work on your swing all the way from eight years old till now, you kind of just find what feels comfortable and natural for you, and it kind of just works out that way. What's so it like? Obviously, guys are right. out here charting throws and who's throwing what touchdown, what pick. Mm -hmm. How do you evaluate yourself day to day, and where are you looking to make progress? Yeah, like I said, one, just going out there and doing everything I can to do the best job I can do, putting us in the best situation I can, and then two, like, if, of course, mistakes are going to happen, so you got to be able to learn from those. It's not. It's not always how you kind of look at it, you know, whether it's good or bad necessarily. It's how can I learn from that situation and not do it again, um, you know. But of course, just trying to get completions, um, put the team in a positive situation, and uh, and move the ball down the field. What's it like right, in the locker room with Bo and Jerry You're competing with them, but also their teammates? Or what's it like in that environment? Yeah, well, really, any room shouldn't be different, right? Whether you have a name starter, you should always be trying to push that guy, you know, to be the best that they can and help you be the best you can. So, the dynamic is awesome. Every NFL room that I've been in is exactly like ours now. Every, we're all we're all close. We're all rooting for each other. We all want the team to be the best team that we can be, and whoever's in that position, you know, we want them to be the best they can they can do. And so, uh, you know, love working with those guys. I love working with Davis and Joe and Pete, and uh, I really enjoy the room that we have.